Mm. Blessed be. Out of God. Ah. Seven reminders in our trials. Devotional guide by Carden Yard. Very good book by Sister Yard. <sighs> Has somebody out there calling? Maybe. Who's that that is knocking out there that, that um, the getting out like that? They, they come from the task force that knocking out that wants to take my door off the hedge. Who is that? This one is long got better than better. Come around here, buddy. Uh, Siren the man. Lent and season, I come about you people, please. <laughs> come. Oh. I hear. Yeah. I, I just hear I'm um, reading um this book here by Carolyn Lark, his sister yard, um uh, for, for the Lenten season, seven reminders of our trials, a devotional guide. You don't have anything, anything to do um Christ wise at and at your place. Are you always coming at my place, at my place up and not anybody will say you're a tenant. You 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 just rent here? You know, I was just um they say no home and I know it's the Lenten season, so I tell myself I can give up um some chicken. You know those things you know you're supposed to eat fish and and things so i i was just at home studying what exactly i am going to give up and making my plans you know um as the lenten season is upon us so these are some of the things so i don't know what is that you you doing for Lent that you giving up <sighs> you see why he's reading things from carly sister yard because it, it says in, in Proverbs, let me take you to, to add to because when I saw in, in like when I was true Christians, it says in Proverbs 27 22. And, and, and I, I know the Bible, the, the, the Lord writes this, this word here for, um, for me. In Proverbs 22 says, Isadora, that though you grind a fool in mortar, hmm? grinding them like green with a pestle, right? Grinding them like green, you know, your heart is grinding them. You will not remove folly from them. Mm -hmm. That's what the Bible said in Proverbs 27, 22. Believe it or not. Uh, when that Bible verse was written, it was written specifically for you. Because when it's so like a lot of foolishness. I, I, I don't understand. The Bible says, right? In, 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 in Matthew 6, 16. When you fast, don't look somber. You know? As the hypocrites do. For they disfigure their faces to show others they are fasting. Truly I tell you, truly I tell you that they have received their reward in full. But I'm going to explain what that means, right? Because when I like a lot of folly, even though I grind you in a part, in a, in a, in a martyr, I still can't get the foolishness out to you. Hmm? Do not come at my place and tell me what it is you're giving up for Lent. The Bible said do it in secret. Don't post on social media. Don't come out here and say, blah, 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 blah. keep noise. Do things in secret. Nobody needs to know what you're giving up for Lent. Nobody needs to know. I surely don't need to know. So I don't know where you're coming on my property telling me, oh, maybe I, I give it. I don't care. Furthermore, you don't, I don't think you got anything to give up. But I can tell you they say no. There's what to give up. Give up coming at my place. Because the Bible says, um, Proverbs 25, 17. Listen close. Seldom come at me in everybody's house. That they may grow weary of you. Right now, I weary. I just want to read my uh, thing here from Sister Yard and praise my God. That's all I want to do for the Lenten season, and I don't want to go about keeping noise. So please get off my property and remember Proverbs 25 17 40 days and 40 nights, right? Seven come at your neighbor's house. So, so go in the wilderness and do something and pray. Don't come at my place, please. The Bible say, Saddam come at your neighbor's house that they may grow weary you, please. I just want to sit down here and read. Always coming at people, please. Scatter from but here, man. You don't think anybody wants to sit down and reflect and give God thanks and peace? When someone wants to be known, holla hard fouls. 